Hello and welcome to the Helping Nemesis Routines podcast. It is me, the one, the only Zion, and I'm back as your host for today, March 27th, 2024. Whoa, 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 whoa! And today's topic is Miracle of the Sea, Part One. And guys, this is just a spoiler alert. There's three parts to Miracle of the Sea, Part Yeah. Let's pray before we begin. Lord, I thank you for everything you've done for us. I thank you that we're alive right now. We can see, we can hear. We thank you for just blessing us. The fact we're alive is a blessing. The fact you've kept us this long is a blessing. The fact we know you'll never leave us is a blessing. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I give you all the glory, honor, and adoration. Lord, I pray you continually help us in everything we do. Whatever we do, Lord, I pray we will continually be for your glory. And you will help us and give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as we go about our day. In Jesus' name, amen. So once again, the topic is Miracle of a Seed, part uno. And the memory verse is taken from Luke chapter 6, verse 38. And it says, Give. And it shall be given un- give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed out and shaken together and run over shall men give into your bosom. So that's practically saying if you give like yeah. So the Bible reading is taken from John chapter six verse seven to thirteen. And it says, by the way, this is in KJV. And it says, Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon, Peter's brother, said unto him, There is a lad here which hath five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they amongst so many? And then Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there, there was such grass in the place, so the men sat down in number of five thousand. Wow! And Jesus took the loaves, and when he gave thanks, he distributed it to the disciples, and the disciples gave it to them that were that sat down. As likewise of the fish, as much as they would. When they were filled. He said unto the disciple, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore, they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with fragments of five barley loaves, which remained over the over and above unto them that had eaten. What I got from the Bible reading was that God is always going to provide, and every no matter what it looks like in your circumstance. In your circumstance, God is always going to provide. And time for the message. The message is written in Daddy Gio's point of view because with the Holy Spirit inspired Daddy Gio to write the whole Open Heaven Spirit series. That includes the one for adults, the one for teens, the one the prayers, the declaration, all of it. With the Holy Spirit who inspired Daddy Gio to write them all. And the message says, today's Bible reading is on account of how Jesus ministered to the multitude that followed him and got fed after his sermon with the lunch of a boy. The Bible records that 5,000 men were fed, aside from the women and children, with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Now the question is, was it only this small boy who had food on him that day? The answer is no. When people come to the Holy Ghost service at Redemption Camp. They usually buy food or snacks to eat before the program commences so that so I can infer that some people in the multitude that day had something to eat while others didn't. However, a boy was thoughtful enough to give up his meal when he saw that Jesus was mean. The major lesson here is that even in the presence of God, not all fingers are equal. If you have privileges to food, to eat, to clothes, to wear, food to eat, clothes to wear, a phone to use, shoes to put on, be nice to people who don't have it at all. Then watch how God will multiply your seed to give you 12 baskets full of blessing. The hymn for today is Hymn 17. 
and the reflection according to my calculation on this piece of paper it says be good to everyone so if you like the podcast for today or if you want to hear more like this make sure you tune into the um podcast for tomorrow you go back to the website and you read meditate on the word because pal i'm watching you meditate on it or else you'll find out later but meditate please read let the holy spirit speak yes and um if you liked what you heard today make sure you tune in for tomorrow's podcast and you share like subscribe with your friends so they also can bless your friends family anyone who's in contact with you share it even if it's the wrong number share it with them and yeah see you tomorrow adios bye god bless you